Assalamualaikum dear students. Today's topic is dimensions. Expressing every quantity in terms of mass, length, time is called dimension. That is, if we have a derived quantity, so we must know that from which base physical quantity that derived quantity has been derived. Now let's, for example, we have a derived quantity force. Now, if we are to find its dimension, now F is equal to ma, the unit of mass is kg, the unit of acceleration is meter per second squared. Now, we know that kilogram is the unit of mass, meter is the unit of length, second is the unit of time. So, the dimension of force is ml per t squared. That is, the force is a derived quantity and those physical, those base physical quantities which constitute force, those base physical quantities of which the derived quantity force has been made uh, are mass, length, time. That is, the force is constituted, is made by the multiplication of these two base physical quantities and the division of time squared. Right? Now, let's take another example. Let's we have universal gravitation constant G. This is another example. Now, the value of universal gravitation constant G is 6.67 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. Now, irrespective of the constant, which is dimensionless, let's take the unit of universal gravitational constant. Now, the unit of universal gravitational constant is Newton meter square per kg square. Now, Newton is equal to kilogram meter per second square this meter square as it is the kg square as it is now let's move further kg meter cube per second square kg as it is when we multiply the meter with the meter square we get meter cube per second square as it is kg square will be split like this kg into kg now the similar terms will cancel each other that is kg cancels with the kg so we are left with meter cube per second square per kg now the kg will become kg inverse when it is shifted to the new meter atom so the final value in terms of units are kg inverse meter cube per second square now kg is the unit of mass meter is the unit of length second is the unit of time so this is what we call dimension expressing every quantity in terms of uh, base quantities mass length time with power positive or power negative are called dimension now let, let's move further we are having some terms related with the dimension now let's suppose we are to find the dimension of work so we have two ways to find the dimension of work one is through unit by unit and the other by formula now let's find it out through unit first now the unit of work is joule now we know that when joule is equal to newton into meter the newton itself is equal to kilogram meter per second square into meter kg as it is meter into meter meter square per second square now kilogram is the unit of mass meter unit of length and second unit of time so dimension of work is ml square per t square now if we if you find it difficult to find it through unit you can also find it through formula now the formula for work is w is equal to fs that is the work is constituted by the product of force and displacement now f is equal to ma and s as it is the unit of mass is kg the unit of acceleration is meter per second square and the unit of distance is meter. Now let's make it further simple. Kg as it is, meter into meter, meter square per second square. Now kg is the unit of mass, meter is the unit of length, second is the unit of time. So this is what the dimension of work. Now we must know some terms related to dimension. That is, we have four kinds of uh, variables and constant two kinds of variable and two kinds of constant the first kind is dimensional variable dimensional variable are those variables whose values can be varied 
that is those physical quantities whose values are different for different objects in different situations that is whose values are not fixed for example energy the energy of different objects of different bodies will be different now what will be the dimension of the energy the unit of energy is joule joule is equal to newton meter newton is equal to kilogram meter per second square now if you don't know that how newton is equal to kilogram meter per second square take the formula f is equal to ma the unit of force is newton the unit of mass is kg and the unit of acceleration is meter per second square so this is how one newton is equal to kilogram meter per second square clear now kg as it is meter multiplied by meter is meter square per second square kilogram is the unit of mass meter unit of length second unit of time now another way to find the dimension of a quantity is through formula for example we can find out the dimension of energy through its formula e is equal to mc square it's a very simple method in this equation m represent the mass whose unit is kg c represent the speed of light whose unit is meter per second but it contain square so simplifying it we get kg meter square per second square now kilogram is the unit of mass meter unit of length second is the unit of time so this is the formula of energy so this was the example of dimensional variables that is those physical quantities whose values can be varied and whose dimension does exist are called dimensional variable the second one is dimensionless variable now by dimensionless variable we mean that those physical quantities whose values are not fixed and whose dimension also don't exist so that physical quantity whose value can be vary and whose dimension doesn't exist are called dimensionless variable for example strain strain is made up change in length per unit original length now you clearly see that the unit of length is meter so meter will cancel out meter so as a result we don't have any unit of strain so if a quantity doesn't have unit it cannot have dimension so it is dimension less clear now how the strain is variable let's suppose we have different material the rubber the steel and something else now they are same in length but they are made of different materials now the, the these materials are subjected to the same amount of force 10 newton each now if we apply the same amount of force on these objects they will show different extension in their length so it is obvious that the strain the change in length on applying the same amount of force on different body will be different so that is why we say that strain is a variable quantity and its dimension doesn't exist so it's dimensionless variable